Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I want to do my sunless tanning routine. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this tanning mousse out, so I thought I would show you guys my routine so you can do it because I know a lot of people are starting to head outside. So both products I use are from Loving Tan, and I just bought them off the Loving Tan website. So this is an applicator mitt. You don't have to use this in order to do the tanning routine, but I would definitely recommend it. It just helps to apply the tanning solution better and more evenly, and also it helps so you don't get stains on your hands. And then this is the mousse I buy. They do have different shades of darkness. Um, I use the most dark one that they have because I really like the color it gives off. But again, you could always get a lighter one and just build it up. This tanning mousse is very, I would say like natural. It doesn't really have an orange tone or a green tone or anything like that. So you can always build it up. So I start by taking a shower. So obviously I'm just changing out of my clothes. So the first thing I do when once I'm in the shower is I wash my body and I just use Dove uh, body wash, but you can use whatever you use. So the next step in my tanning routine is to exfoliate. So I just use an exfoliation mitt that I got from Walmart. It was super cheap and I use the She Sugar Scrub that I found on Amazon and I use both of, both of those together and I just find that it exfoliates my body or skin really nice. So I put on the glove and then I just dip it in some of the exfoliating scrub and I wash or scrub in circular motions. You wanna make sure that, first of all, that your skin is wet. You don't wanna do this on dry skin because that will really hurt. And second of all, you don't wanna do it too hard. So I usually start with my arms and again, I'm just scrubbing in circular motions, making sure my skin is totally wet and making sure I'm not, you know, doing it too hard so I'm not harming my skin. So next I do my chest area and also my neck. And then I also do my stomach as well. And then last but not least, I do my legs. So it is really important uh, before you tan to exfoliate. And this is just because it gets all the dead skin off and it will just help your tan last a lot longer, like weeks longer. I've tried not exfoliating and it just doesn't look as nice. It doesn't go on as smoothly and it definitely doesn't last as long. So if you're looking for a long term tan, you want to exfoliate. So another thing I found that's really important is you want to make sure you're exfoliating every part of your body that you want or plan on tanning. So this includes your neck, your chest, or your back. I was not planning on doing my back this time, but that's super important. And then I'm just washing off all the sugar scrub. So the next thing I do is shave. And I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on whether you should shave or exfoliate first before tanning. I always exfoliate first, but I'm guessing you can do it either way and it probably wouldn't make a huge difference. But I'm sure everyone knows how to shave, so I'm gonna kind of skip through that part. But again, I'm just starting from the bottom of my leg, moving to the top, and you wanna make sure you're getting everywhere so your tan lasts longer and so it applies evenly.
make sure you don't miss shaving or exfoliating your knee or the back of your leg especially your knee because tanner tends to stick to the knee for some reason so after my shower i always put on moisturizer that's also very important before tanning and i'm just using bum bum cream it's called it's literally the best lotion in the world and i'm just applying that again my legs my arms anywhere where i'm going to apply the tanner some people also recommend doing this a night before but i was too lazy and did it the day of tanning for better results i would exfoliate and also moisturize a couple nights before i tan so now it's time for the fun part and that is tanning so i just use my glove and I do two pumps to start with for each arm. Um, I don't really have a formula for how much I put on each time. I would say two to four pumps would probably be what I use every time. But honestly, it depends on how much of a tan you want and how dark of a tan you want. So as long as you're coating all over your whole body part that you're tanning, you should be fine. Also, make sure to get under your armpits and your shoulders. I am not doing my back this time. Sometimes I, will, I won't do my back. I'll just skip it and just do my legs and arms because that's usually what people see anyway. Moving on to the next arm, I'm just doing the same thing, starting with two pumps, adding more if necessary and just making sure I'm rubbing it all in. I also just want to say that don't worry about your hand or your neck or your feet. It may look like I'm skipping those areas right now, but I will come back to them. I have a brush that I use to do those areas. So I kind of skip over that in this part, but you will see what I do later. So after I do my arms, I then move on to my legs and I'm just again doing circular motions to apply the mousse. And again, I use two pumps to begin with and then I will add more, especially on my legs since that's a larger surface area. I usually add two to three more pumps just to cover everything. And don't forget the back of your leg. I would suggest doing your legs in sections. So my favorite thing to do when tanning my legs is to start from the bottom. So the bottom half of my leg, kind of like when I shave, I split them into parts and then I move on to the top of my leg just so I can keep track of how much I'm putting on each part and so it looks even. The nice thing about this tanning mousse is it does apply darker than the rest of your skin so you can tell if you've missed any places tanning mousse does tend to stick to your knees and elbows more than any other part so i just make sure that i'm not putting a ton on my knee or elbows i'll wait until i do the rest of my body parts and then do my knees and elbows um, just so that then i'm not globbing it on those areas so as you can see here, I am now trying to do my hands, my feet, and then my neck and chest area. And I use a little brush. It's a makeup brush. I'm not sure what it's called, but I got it from Walmart. It was super cheap. And I just use this brush in areas that are harder to blend. Sometimes the application mitt can be too big for areas such as your feet and hands and neck. So as you can see, I start from my ankle area and then I will kind of just spread down the tanning mousse. Now I'm just using the same brush and again starting from my wrist and working my way down blending it. I don't put any on my fingers because honestly it just washes off in a few days so I just try to focus on my hand. Home, 
So I would recommend doing my tanning during the night so that way it has time to process and you're not moving around and sweating. And so if you do do it at night, make sure you put something down so it doesn't get on your sheets because it can transfer a little bit. So the next morning when I wake up, I will take a shower and you just want to rinse all of the excess solution off of your body. So once the water turns clear, then I usually count that as being done. And then I apply the same lotion just to moisturize. So that's the end of my tanning routine. I am literally an idiot and forgot to fill myself with the actual result. I don't know how someone does that, but I managed to. So I thought I would just insert a picture here of my end result. It does look a little bit different on, on the camera for some reason. Like I look a little bit whiter, but trust me, this if you follow this tanning routine, you will come out with a beautiful tan. Like I said, I've gotten so many compliments on it and um, I can't wait for you guys to try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm hoping to come out with new videos soon. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!